He would shake so much, like he couldn't breathe. You, you know, you could hear him say, T -t 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 -t, like the wind trying to come out. They got to the point where he was having three or four back to back. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't for those seizures, he, he would have went back to playing football. The parents of Demarius Thomas revealed today that the late Broncos player had stage two CTE. They say this degenerative brain disease is what ultimately led to his cardiac arrest and subsequent death. Thomas was found dead at the age of 33 back in December, just six months after announcing his retirement from the NFL. Back in 2019, Thomas started having frequent seizures after getting in a car wreck in Denver. His parents say in the years before that, he suffered from depression, panic attacks, and had trouble with his memory, all of which are common side effects of CTE. That's what led to his parents' decision to donate his brain to doctors at Boston University. At first, I didn't want to do it. I was against it. And then I remember a conversation DT and I had where he said that, you know, Mom, if, ever, if anything ever happens to me, I want to be able to help other players. The coroner's office in Fulton County, Georgia, has not yet ruled on Thomas's exact cause of death.